supposed to have? I must prepare to travel. Good day, my friend! To the goblins camped nearby, of course. I've been tracing them. Whoever this absolute they're worshipping might be, I'll be the first. Yes. Yes, I see. I do wish I could understand you. Ab speritu umok akule us vitisque. Prison the thief on the guard of my servant. When we cast out the rest, she... something the matter. Closed. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. We will speak soon enough. First, judgment must be passed. The parasite eats our food, drinks our water then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. 
She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. on the circle. You intrude on my mind. More proof that outsiders must never be trusted. The snake's hiss of approval reveals its intentions. Should the child struggle, it is poised to strike. more valuable out there than in here. Sifisif, Tila to me! <laughs> out, thief. My grace has its limits. <laughs> it hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin will- Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Positive. You can trust me on that. What's next? Let's see what I can glean. Almost finished. What if they tried to steal from us? The game! We've shown them. Might as well have lain on the ground and let them trample us. Someone there? Thorv's fur bristles. He wants to jump, wants to bite. His eyes dart back and forth as he sniffs the air. He can't see them anymore, but he can smell them. Many, many strangers. The wolf bears his teeth. He doesn't take orders from you. He'll chase you down if not for his master. Looking ahead. Best be on my way. Let's see what this does. That mural. In darkest hour, a concord made, twixt harp and wild against the shade. Harp and wild? You recall stories of an alliance between druids and the harpers, but the details are vague. Please leave. 
Our hospitality has limits, and they were crossed long ago. I see you. Just give me a moment. A moment. There is Medica. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what was it you needed? You found her, but I still don't know what she can do for you. You and every other soul here. I can help if something's wrong. I'm no Master Halson, but I can manage. Why are you asking? Did it look like a tadpole? But from your worst nightmare? All slime, teeth and tentacles? I... I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. The bird's eyes are glassy. It's breathing weak. Head on in. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. Rather too common as of late. At least that's what Master Halson suspected. A pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. No, I'll stay. I'd rather know exactly what you're up to. All right. Let's see what we can do. It might. But first things first. Tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? Victims can identify each other. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How'd you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. Of course I am. Lives are on the line. And not just yours. So tell me, where'd you get that thing? A mind flare ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look. You've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. The thorn? Coated in a fatal toxin. It was a last resort, in case I couldn't trust you. I don't have a cure. Only a way out. 
I'm sorry for misleading you, but I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now, do I have your word or not? Swear it. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hell was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. Mind flayers reproduce by infecting someone with their parasite. Seven gruesome days later, the victim transforms and a new mind flayer is born. The thing in your skull, though, it's different to anything in our records. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections, and it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. Hard to say, but there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna. And I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers, joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. I think so. I hope so. I've sent birds to find him, but they can't get close without goblins trying to shoot them down. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? Thank you. It would mean everything to the Grove. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. Step at a time. to keep it that way. Better a quick draft than ceramorphosis nonetheless. There's something in that vessel. Take a closer look. That's curious. Sylvanas, I just want my bed. I need a quick word. What will the tieflings want next? Letting the hell child go was a mistake.
Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? First you urge grace, then you speak truth. You surprised me twice over. A shame the grace period ends. The viper's fangs have been bared. She must guard her brood. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. The Rite of Thorns. It is the Tree Father's gift that none come to harm. When we speak the final prayer, the great vine will sprout forth. The grove will be cloaked in bramble and thorn. No one enters, no one leaves. Sanctuary. None of this can happen while outlanders infect us. Sylvanus demands that we choke them out. A disease of the flower must not reach the root. Pluck the petals, sever the branch if you must, but cut out the rot before it infects the whole of the wood. Teachings of Sylvanus. You must agree. Then you know I heed his wisdom. I protect the circle, whatever the cost. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Sevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander Rot cleansed, and the Grove forever shrouded. You did well to speak up for the girl. That snake is fickle. A tragedy prevented. Well seen. Well spotted. We've let a snake replace our leader. Master Halsin. Perhaps Goblin Court. Perhaps dead. He'd set Mistress Korga back in line. Hold her to task. Stop this damned ritual. More will die if the rite is finished. So many more. Sent into a world gone mad. Would you? I would give anything to see Halsin return home. Sylvanus's blessing upon you, and my gratitude as well. Halsin is an elf with the presence of a bear. He left west with the adventurers. You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. What if they tried to steal oh, from us? It's all right. Again. We take Grove Law seriously. By letting that child escape without consequence. We might as well have lain on the ground and let them trample us. By Sylvanus, another outsider. I asked you. No. In umbram petus.
whatever it takes. Fragile. I have a mind to end their misery myself. Calm yourself. They're survivors, not soldiers. I fail to see the distinction. Fearless Goblin Slayer. You sure you want to be seen with me? I ain't exactly popular with this lot. <laughs> Please. A good sword will get your father than honor any day. What do you want, anyway? I ain't local. I know... knew the fella in charge. But barely said two words to the devil swarm in his place. Druids. And they ain't the friendly type. The only one of them worth a damn was the leader. And he ain't here anymore. Better than the others. But not well enough to risk my neck for him. We've got a contract. To track down some relic. And he wanted in on the job. Eyes lit up when he heard about it. Didn't work out though. Goblins got him when we were turning tail. He's either digging latrines or boiling in a cook pot by now. <laughs> Job's all yours, if you got a death wish. There's a wizard in Baldur's Gate that'll pay gobloads for a relic supposedly buried round these parts. But gold ain't any use if you're too cold to spend it. It's called the Night Song. It's supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you the map and wish you a happy funeral, but my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own todger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. All I've got's the contract. It'll show you where we turn back, if you feel like dying. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'll be well on my way to Boulder's Gate when you die. You're the one who helped at the gate. Glad to have another sword. We might need it. I heard what happened. Thank you for protecting the child. If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here, or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? You saw what they were willing to do to a child just for trying. It's Corga's influence. Without her twisting things, I believe the druids might see sense. It's good of you to offer, but there's a whole army of goblins out there. We'd need an army of our own to escort us safely to Baldur's Gate. And while I don't doubt your abilities, you're no army. There may be a way, though. Goblins are ill-disciplined, 
It's unlike them to organize so cleverly. Somebody must be leading them, bringing discipline to their ranks. Take out that leadership, and they'll scatter. It's no small thing to ask, but I've seen you fight. You're equal to the task. Everyone in this camp depends on it. Thank you. We'll be ready to leave as soon as you give word. No, sir. But if there's a clear path past those goblins, they'll find it. Yes. Our time grows short. If Korga won't abandon her madness, then we'll have to try the road, goblins or no. used to think the goblins would kill us the second we set foot outside. But after hearing what you did at the gate, well, I still think they'll kill us. But at least we can put up a fight. <laughs> there's optimism and then there's stupid, hun. Plenty of us fell to monsters already. I don't see the rest of us lasting long out there. But if you're so sure we will, why not put a little gold on the line? Oh, I'm sure you're good for it. Just leave the gold on my corpse. After seeing you at the gate, I'm sure you'll last longer than us. Excellent. And since I ain't one to leave a debt unpaid, that means we're destined to meet in Border's Gate. Looking forward to it. So many ways to die. Oh, 
just to put my hands on everything. Hope the goblins aren't smart enough to poison their blade. Can't wait to get back to the gate. Damn goblins! Oh, I. I was just gonna let it fall off, stick it in my satchel. I ain't letting anyone here near me. They all sat and watched while Zevlor near got us killed. Well, finally. Someone who ain't got horns where their good sense should be. We expected a soft job. Something to test the new lad, maybe, but not a bloody goblin nest. Most would have turned tail at the sight, but not Liam, no. He charged him, the stupid bastard. Bravery? No. When it gets you killed, it's just called stupidity. That was lesson one. If Liam had only bloody listened. Small mercies. Thanks. Anything of use? How long until Roman shows off his thunder wave? Depends. How many people are dumb enough to ask? <laughs> True. Those goblins will rule the day they chose to tangle with this grove. You and I will do some good here. I can feel it. My thunder wave will make quick work of any goblin. Just you wait. Lee and Roland would never admit it, but they take an arrow for the other. Also stab each other. Not sure what will come first. Thanks for cutting in. There might have been more than words if you hadn't. those slimy bastards. Fancy a bowl? Best to fill your belly now, while we still can. Look, it ain't much, but it might make all the difference. The only way we'll make it to Baldur's Gate is to run, and run hard. If a knoll catches your scent, you'll need every bit of strength. Trust me. What I... You've had your share. Leave some for the rest. Ah, uh, if it isn't the talk of the camp. Thank goodness you came along when you... Oh, there isn't a bit of colour in those cheeks, Petal. Are you harsh, cold, feverish? Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. Aha! You take a sup of that and you'll feel right as rain, sweetie. Depends. What's wrong, lovey? Oh, stop! Even on a good day, half the camp acts like a bunch of screaming brats. I'm tempted to smack them all on the backside and tell them to kiss and make up. Not that they'd listen to little old me. Anyway, do you need anything? I have a few odds and ends for sale. Hey, bother.
Oh, sweetie. Roland shows off his thunder wave. Depends. How many people are dumb enough to ask? <laughs> True. Wits and blades always sharp. Don't look so tough. Mull thought of a hobgoblin all by herself. Out of my clothes. I'll have to burn them. Thanks for fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear, just ask. My selection's pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in El Terrell. Of sorts. Used to be a bread and butter tinsmith before El Terrell fell into Avernus. These days, my talents are more eclectic. Learned a lot in my time in the Hells. Hope to forget most of it. But between you and me, there's nothing in all the realms like the utter power of infernal machinery. Alas, my offerings are far more humble these days. Druids, this grove is a death trap. Grab what you can and get out. That's my advice. I can pack or talk, and right now I'm packing. I'd die if I met the Roach and reeking of this place. I can pack or talk, and right now. I have to burn them. Let me out, you bunch of softies! <laughs> eyes. Another one. My friend's blood not enough. Come to rip me open too. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you? You dare interrupt. Has the tadpole ravaged your senses? Lower.
You dare interrupt! Has the tadpole ravaged your senses? Thanks. What do you want from me? On the road, to Baldur's Gate, near the mountain pass. S saw us, for we saw it. Jammed its blade through Yul's belly, straight to the other side. And I just... I just ran. The map. Show me. Hard feelings. Gods, deliver me. Wonder if the gods. Are. The last time a subordinate questioned my judgment, I ate tongue stew that very night. I warned you, didn't I? You ought to reconsider keeping her around before she causes real trouble. Your tantrum proves you no wiser than a hatchling. The teethling was clear. If there are Githyanki west of here, that must be our objective. Purification cannot wait. The Kresh holds the Zathisk. It will cleanse us of the parasite. By covenant, I can say no more. I am unfamiliar with the... well... I shall not say culture. Custom, perhaps. You will educate me on matters of this... fey run. What's inside? Until Roland shows off I'm his thunder wave. Yes, yes. <laughs> True. Inventory today. I'm sorry. Nerves are shot after the attack. Do what you gotta do. Sorry if I don't show you around. I just fall back down. Legs are as steady as a foal's. Bloody potion! I'm not drunk. I just can't stand. I wanted an edge against the goblins, and I got it. I'm as strong as a bugbear and fearless. But the old lady, she warned me of side effects. Should have listened. Now I'm stuck guarding crates.
right. I guess being fearless won't help if an arrow comes flying right at me. Here. Very mercenary of you. I wouldn't have done it any differently. Be restricting you to a cell. but your best just isn't good enough. Congratulations, you've convinced them to give you access. Now what? as good as her word. She's reported that you've been threatening children. Your words are heavy with righteousness and sincerity. Enough to get you off the hook, this time. The Blade of Frontiers. <laughs> what a thrill for the children. <laughs> They're tough kids. Smart, too. The future's in good hands. Step, parry, strike, damn it! It's just not landing. Nothing but. Goblins in the wild, out for blood, and the druids in here looking to kick us out. Or worse. We need to be ready for a fight. But I'm useless with a sword. Like this, you mean? Step, step, strike! Yes! You really know what you're doing! Uh, found this by the road. Bet you'll put it to good use.
Hopefully, it's just the goblins we have to worry about. The druids are treating us like vermin. But I'll keep at it. Thank you. Oh, yes. I'll bite my tongue when the time comes. If we left, we could at least make a run for it. Go on. Give me a best shot. Not bad. Again. I can't do it. I'm not like you. Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your sh The man's smile bends downward, and his thoughts become yours. You are the Blade of Frontiers, racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe held. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You are on the ship. You see the fiend again and ignite with Will's rancor. She is an infernal war devil, a threat to the living, evil incarnate. Shit! You saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli, a devil's advocate, a champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. Her name is Karlak, an archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship, but the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her, she'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. An excellent suggestion, but your party's full up. Still, when the time comes, call for the blade. I won't be long to answer. A splendid plan. We'll talk more there. Can't keep the goblins out forever. This is no fortress. I saw you at the gates. You fight well. A few words for the kids. Spare a story or two. <laughs> Thanks. I prefer when they smile. Yeah! Mm -hmm. 